hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is jason this is a daily relaxation hypnosis session for stress anxiety and panic attacks so this is day 17 i think so thank you for everyone who supported me so far in this uh, series of hypnosis videos and mp3s just to let you know you can um, listen and download the mp3s on my soundcloud um, podcast there's a link on my website jasonnewland.com so oh. <sighs> that's the first time i've yawned all day I don't know why I'm telling you that, but it's it's true. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to think um, back to the sessions that I've done previously, uh, so that I can do something a bit different. Right. Here's something that. Um, it's kind of a it's an old hypnosis technique also used in NLP as well that's neuro linguistic programming and I, th I would say it was an old technique with hypnosis going back a long time but NLP maybe uh, expanded it to um, like a new level possibly so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go into the whole idea of it. Um, I'll kind of briefly mention it. So when I studied in an NLP, Richard Bandler talked about the control center in your mind as if, um, as if you were sitting in a cockpit of a plane or a spaceship or something like really, uh, I suppose a bit like um, Star Trek or something, you know? Not everybody's into Star Trek, but you get the idea of being in a place where you've got all these controls. I mean, you could say it's like a mobile phone now or a laptop or an iPad um, where you can control things just by pressing a button. You can move the uh, volume up and, you know, so, so you can do a lot of things just by turning little, little nozzles that aren't actually even there. It's just a screen. But by going like touching the screen, you can change the volume, you can change the, the tint of the picture, you can move to a different screen maybe, you know, so it's all the kind of things that you can do on computers now. Um, the idea, and this, this idea was long before the iPad came out, is the idea of being able to do this in your mind. The idea of being able to have a control center there where you can close your eyes, go into your mind and then make those changes. Uh, however small they may uh, need to be at the time. You can make that fine, it's like fine tuning, I guess. So, you know, if you had, uh, for example, if there's an image, that's just annoying you. You know, maybe it's uh, an image of a memory or it's uh, somebody said something new to you earlier in the day and you keep replaying it. Why would you do that? But you know, it's, it's, there's no point to it, but it's, it's human nature to do that. But there are ways around it. There are ways you can change that memory, um, the, your response to that memory anyway. So what you can do is, you can still have it playing over and over if that's what you choose to do. You can go into your control center of your mind and you can play it on the screen. So let's say your boss has said something to you that's caused uh, a reaction from you, some kind of emotional state, which you're not pleased about. Um, try to be as vague as possible with this because it could be anything. 
as an example that was. It could be any situation. So as you play it, play that little sound bite, that little sound clip, that little MPEG, little video. So what you could do is actually imagine it's like a television set or a little, you know, your, your phone. You're watching it on your phone. First of all, by watching it on your phone instead of on a big television screen or a big laptop or an iPad, everything's smaller. Everything's, you have to, it's not quite as dramatic, got quite as powerful. Um, I would argue that watching a movie, especially with, let's say, Star Wars. I sound like I'm some kind of science fiction um, maniac, but I'm not. Um, but you know, if you watch Star Wars at the movies, it's probably, I'm guessing, going to be more impressive visually, maybe also auditorily, you know, with your ears, with your eyes, with your ears, than when you watch it on your television set, when it's released on DVD or you know, on streaming. In the same way, the television set might have more of an impact on your senses than uh, a laptop or an iPad. And then the telephone would maybe have less because the screens are very small. The sound isn't as good as what you would get on a, on a television, perhaps. Maybe it is, it depends what you've got. But it's a different, experience so you could actually do that in your mind and just notice the change so see this situation we're going to think of a situation right so this is going to be a little bit different to what we normally do i'm going to get i want you to think of a situation that's caused stress for you that has uh, whenever you think about it, it has a stress reaction within your body and, and your mind. Something that's happened recently that's caused you stress now. Something that you feel is um, causing anxiety and stress within you right now. Okay, or before you start watching my video. So it could be something small, something that happened. I say something small, I mean... The fact is, if you're getting a reaction and that reaction is causing you harm, uh, i.e., you know, anger, frustration, anxiety, stress, panic, all those things which are actually no good for you, no use to you, but also no good to you either because it's not good stuff to have that. It's good to have stress in certain secure situations. If you're being chased by a, a bear, then having stress and running, having all that adrenaline, and if you can escape, good. But in day-to-day -day life, the stress isn't needed in the same way. It's always good to have a degree of stress because we do need to have that to move around, for our legs to work, for our body to be upright and our spine to be straight and all that stuff you know there's a degree of stress going on in the body which keeps it upright and keeps us going forward and you know make sure that we turn up to appointments and meetings and get to where we're supposed to be but that doesn't have to be more than just general lower living it doesn't have to have the word stress connected to it when I talk about stress, I'm talking about a harmful, horrible feeling that you have or that you might have in your body, on your mind, that actually feels it's more like an illness, feels more like a, being, being ill than, than just a feeling. If it was just a feeling, which you could argue it is just a feeling, but if it, if it didn't have um, a negative effect, if it wasn't... Um, problematic to us then I wouldn't be making this video you wouldn't be watching this video 
proper stress can lead to all kinds of illnesses and problems. So that's why I'm here to try and help to resolve those things. So instead of having that issue that happened today, maybe, sitting there drinking, maybe drinking lager or whiskey or whatever, trying to um, move past it, or maybe overeating or eating the wrong food, or getting angry with loved ones, you know, that maybe in your own way trying to deal with or trying to cope with that situation, which is, we all sort of try our best to cope with stuff. It might not be the best way to cope with stuff, but I think most people are aiming to try to deal with things, even if it's harmful to themselves or others. So if there is something that's happened today, for example, or yesterday, recently, that's affected you, affected your stress levels to heighten to, you know, an uncomfortable level. Instead of just ignoring it and carrying on to another day tomorrow and ignoring what happened and not addressing it. And then adding more stress onto that and more stress every day, new things coming up. If you can learn to deal with each day as it comes and at the end of each day or when it happens, deal with that stressful, stressful situation as it happens or at the end of the day, the next day will be easier. The next day, it will be a new day, literally. I know that's a cliche, but every day is a new day. Every, every second of every day, you choose what you do next. So what you can do now, if you choose, this is your challenge. So I'm not gonna do any kind of uh, relaxation technique, but this will reduce your stress for that situation, okay? So I want you to notice now, when you think about that thing that happened, whether it's with a boss, whether it's a loved one, your wife, your husband, your children, your parents, uh, your teacher, your boss, maybe a stranger, something, an interaction maybe, or maybe something you saw, maybe something you've seen on television, maybe it's, a political thing, you know, um, whatever it is that is really bugged you, that's got your stress levels too high. I want you to think about that now. And in your mind, just play it in your mind, play, play it back to yourself as you do anyway. And I'd like you to just notice if you open your eyes again, notice if you if you close your eyes, that is. Some people don't need to close your eyes to do this, but I'm going to ask you to close your eyes because it just makes it easier for me to just like guide you. Notice what scale you are from zero to ten. Ten being the most stressed you could be, zero being completely not bothered at all. I'm guessing it's going to be relatively high because it's maybe fresh and it's something you focused on so you wouldn't necessarily focus on a, a tiny little thing so something that's um, really bugged you so notice what number it is you can write it down on a piece of paper or you can just remember that number zero being it doesn't bother you ten is like the highest amount of botheration that you can uh, gain from it so what I'm going to do now is when you go through that whole process starting off with the cinema screen moving it to a television screen moving it to a computer screen moving it to a tablet or ipad screen even if you don't have an ipad or a tablet you'll have seen them either on television or seeing other people use them and then moving that picture to a mobile phone or um, 
you know, whatever kind of phone you have, which is small, a small screen. So we're going to start off first of all by seeing that clip and just seeing it, starting it right at the beginning and finishing it at the end, just like a sound bite, a clip of it, the bit that annoyed you the most, the bit that um, causes that stress. So it might sound weird that I'm trying to get you to experience the anxiety, the stress, the anger, whatever that you had from that experience, um, your reaction, but I want you to get hold of that. I want you to pinpoint the precise moment okay and i want you just to play that on the big screen and just notice your feeling and it, it probably feels horrible i don't know but it, it's uh, going to be unpleasant so you played that what first so you've done that we well, had to move it from the big screen so if it was a big cinema screen move it to where you are now so let's say if you live in a in a house or a flat or apartment and you've got a television move it onto that television set and just imagine playing it on that television set and you might have a big television but it's going to be nowhere as big as a cinema screen unless you live in a cinema and just play it on the cinema on the, the television screen and notice how you feel notice how that feeling changes watching it on a smaller screen now move it to a laptop screen you know a fairly big laptop of course it's smaller than a television set but it's a laptop or a computer I'm just watching it on there and notice the picture's not as good as the television. The sound of the quality is, the sound quality is nowhere as good as the television. Just like the television is nowhere as good as the cinema. Just noticing how different it feels when you watch it on the laptop screen. And now moving it and watching it on a tablet or an iPad. So it's a smaller screen, not hugely smaller, but still smaller. Noticing how it changes just by moving it to a different device just naturally changes things anyway. But just noticing. And now moving it to your mobile telephone watching it on that little screen listening without earphones but just on normal loudspeaker the quality of the sounds a bit a bit rubbish really the picture is very small just notice as things are much smaller the sounds is not so great. Notice how different that feels, how you feel differently as you watch that event on the small screen, a tiny little phone screen. And what's different now is it's changed. Because once that feeling goes, you can't get it back. It's it's changed. The memory, you know, the, the thing, the event or whatever, it happened. You know, we're not using a time machine to go back in time and do all that stuff. Although, you know, you can use hypnosis using those kind of imagery uh, situations but allowing you to actually 
change something. Every time you move it, it changes. In the same way, you can draw the same most simplistic drawing. It could be like an apple. You know, I'm not an artist, but you know, I imagine most people who are good at art would find it quite easy to draw an apple. But you can draw 10 or 20 pictures of that same apple and each one will be different. In the same way as you move the picture or the event or the little piece of video from the big screen, from the cinema to the television, then from the television to the laptop, from the laptop to the iPad or tablet, and then from the tablet or iPad to the small mobile phone screen. Changes that. So now I'd like you just to Forget about the mobile phones and all the different screens. And just think about that. Maybe just shake it off. Shake, put, just shake your um, shoulders around, your arms. And just, you know, get yourself feeling relaxed. Maybe open your eyes for a second. Open your eyes. Just look around. And now I'd like you to just think about that situation again. Notice what number it is on your scale of stress from zero to 10. Zero being nothing. Maybe look around the room, notice the color of the walls, notice the furniture in your room. But yeah, just then come back and think about that. Think about that situation. Notice how it changes. Notice how different you feel. And what number is it now? And my question to you, apart from, you know, perhaps let me know what number it went down to in the comments on the YouTube video, is what else could you use this for? What other things could you use this for? What other things have you been carrying around? That you can let go of, that you can relax. And just breathe and have some relief. Giving yourself a break. You know, showing yourself some love. Isn't that what this is all about? Showing yourself some kindness, some love, some affection. Just being, being there for yourself. Being your own best friend. It's not okay to ignore the pain. It's not okay to just take it all on your shoulders. It's not fair on you. Don't you deserve more than that? Don't you deserve to just let go of some of that stuff? Don't you deserve to be happy? I 
think you do. And I'm wearing a white shirt, so that shows I'm serious. <laughs> Just means I'm wearing a white shirt. I think I've actually lost weight on my neck because last year I couldn't even do it up. So, not really relevant to what we were talking about, but I hope that this session's been useful and there's going to be more, there's going to be more of this type of stuff coming in the future. More ways to it's more ways to get to the same place. And that place is freedom. Freedom in your mind. Freedom in your body. Freedom to be happy. So that's the end of this session for today. I wish you all the best. I wish you, you have a wonderful day and uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.